Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's Russ here from Porky's Corner, the biggest gob in sport. We say the things on here that nobody dares say. Uh, I want to give a big shout out to our sister channel, Porky's International YouTube. Right, where do we start? Where do we start? Moses Atome. We all know who he is, don't they? Moses Vatome, he's come out and he said that Anthony Joshua beats uh, Dubois. So it is what it is, isn't it? If that's the case, well, Moses could be right, but uh, he's brave coming out with that, isn't he, really? Because uh, wouldn't you say... Uh, Brick top were more or less Dubois' guy. So, is there any chinks in armor there? I don't know. Brick top will probably have him tied down. I think his son Francis uh, manages him and he's doing a good job by the looks of it. He's supposed to be the next big no big noise, isn't he? Well, he's 19 now, coming up 20 in December. So, he's, he's uh, going to be mixing it to beat Mike Tyson's record. I doubt he's going to do it. Unless Uncle Bricktop delivers him a WBO. Well, we all know what what happens with WBO, whereas regards Bricktop, don't we? But it is what it is. But he keeps saying he's willing to fight anybody, this Moses of Atama. Why don't they put him in with Martin Bacoli? Because uh, people are saying that Martin Bacoli can't go a dance partner. Well, Yui would fight him. Yui Fury would fight Bacoli. But uh, you he had fight that Moses Matome, any but if you lost against him, where would he go? See, he's going to be like a, a mini bogeyman, isn't he, because of his age. So we're going to see, but I'd like to see Moses Matome against Fabio Wardley or Fraser Clark, a.k.a. It's Big Freeze. It's Big Freeze or Fabio Wardley. If they lose, one of them losers... Why not stick a Tome in with one of them? And let's gauge where he's at. You know, or stick him in with Bacoli. You know what I mean? I mean, people are saying Bacoli is world class. I'm saying he's a very solid Euro guy. He got beat by Michael Hunter, don't forget, a small cruiserweight. So people are getting a little bit carried away with Bacoli. But he is very good. But he's in the Who Needs Him Club, isn't he? He doesn't speak very good English. And, you know, he's he's been a bit stupid on social media. And, you know, he's a good fighter, isn't he? But a 20 stone six foot sixer, he's not a big mover, is he? But uh, it is what it is, isn't it? What about Dave Allen for Moses Atome? That's a good fight, isn't it? Or Max Jenkins against Moses Atome. They're good fights, then, for Moses. If Dave Allen beat Moses Atome, he'd be back at mix himself, wouldn't he? So p fighters need to look at it like Moses Atome is like a a Premier League club, isn't he? But near bottom at league or a champion, a top championship club in FA Cup going up against a non-league team. Well, that's like Moses Atome, isn't he? Against Somebody who's, you know, on the slide like Dave Allen. Well, Dave's never won a belt. So, technically, Dave Allen, for fights he's had, he's never won a belt and he's 30-odd, 30 30-odd 30 fights, 30-odd year old. Dave Allen is now a journeyman, isn't he, really? Because he's never won anything, has he? So, he's a journeyman. So, if Dave Allen takes the Moses Atome fight, look at it like if you beat him, David, you are in the mix. You know what I mean? But... It is what it is. Would Billy Nelson let Bacoli take that fight? I don't know. Would Joe Gallagher let uh, Lawrence Acoli? I mean, Big Lawrence is going to have to move up to heavyweight sooner or later, isn't he? Do you know what I mean? That's how I look at it. So, it is what it is, isn't it? But this Moses Atome... All we're hearing at the moment is he's calling out everybody and people are bigging him up, but he hasn't beat anybody. 
that Dave Allen won't beat so far. So let's see him in with Dave Allen. Why not? Why not put the white rhino in with this Moses guy? You know, but we're not going to get that, are we? We're not going to get that. So, hey-ho. Billy Nelson won't put Bacoli in with him, but what can you do? I mentioned it in another video. I've heard Kel Brook might be coming back. I think that's a bit mad of Kel if he, if he does. But I'd get behind him. But uh, will he be training with Flex? I've heard he ain't going to be training with Flex ever again. So I don't know what's going up there at the Flex camp. Something just doesn't sit right with me, I'm afraid. What can you do? Carl Frotch has come out and he said that Anthony Joshua will never become undisputed champion. Eddie Hills has come out and said he won't. Well, he's, Joshua's been talking, Anthony Joshua, he's been talking about all roads lead to undisputed ever since he turned pro. Now, he won gold medal 2012. We're three months away, aren't we? Three or four months away from 2025. And Anthony Joshua's still, still not fought for the undisputed, has he? Still not fought for it. So what can you do? What can we do? So how can he be undisputed? They don't allow us to have undisputed. The promoters are all at fault. They talk it, don't they? Eddie Hills and Bricktop, they're always talking about, yeah, all roads lead to undisputed. But we never get these undisputers, do we? OSEX just become undisputed. And what do they do? They split all the belts. Well, they took the IBF straight away. And this is what we're up against here. So I don't think Joshua ever becomes undisputed. He might sneak a world title if he's matched correctly. Like he might sneak this one against Dubois. But really, it's a cast-off of Usyk's belt. But it's not undisputed, is it? But if he gets it, he could chase Usyk down for undisputed fight, can't he? But who'd want to see him and Usyk? We've seen it twice. He got schooled both times. So it don't warrant a third fight, really, does it? You know what I mean? But try telling that to these clowns in the sport of boxing. They don't listen. Absolute don't listen. So, hey-ho. Somebody's just told me yet again, some other person. Is Ebony Bridges pregnant, Porky? I don't care. But if, if she is, I want to know who's the father. Could it be Bombay Dave? He was training her, wasn't he? He'd be at mixed money, Bombay Dave, because they split up, didn't they? I don't know. It's going to be interesting to see what happens that, isn't it? Moving forwards, or is it moving sideways? We don't know, but if that ever comes out, it's Bombay Dave. Oh, my God. Could it be Conor McGregor's? Could it be Conor McGregor's? I'm going to have to wait and see. Answers on a postcard. If anybody knows who's the father of Ebony Bridges' child, if she's expecting one, because I'm hearing, allegedly, she might be pregnant. So, okie dokie. Thanks for liking and subscribing and leaving a comment. Boo Yaka. Go on, peace out. Don't forget to uh, join our sister channel, Porky's International YouTube. Or at least go over there and have a neb. Let me know what you think. All right. So, hey, if Sky Nicholson ever gets pregnant, would Eddie Hills be in the mix for that one? Hey, would you be in the mix for that one, Eddie? God, you'd be unbearable, wouldn't you, if you were you, you were a uh, 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 kid's dad, wouldn't you? Hey, old Eddie Hills. He gets where water gets, don't you, Eduardo? Go on, Booyaka.